As of February 6th, there have been over 28,000 confirmed cases of the coronavirus worldwide. On Tuesday, the second case of the virus was confirmed here in British Columbia. But as Dr. Tara Dunn tells us, the risk factor does remain low here in BC. But what exactly is the coronavirus? A coronavirus is just actually a class of viruses, and we have quite a few viruses that fall underneath. Even the common cold can be caused by a coronavirus. Uh, a coronavirus is called such because it looks like it has a crown. So the word corona means crown. It's kind of a sphere with some spikes hanging out, and when you look at it from a microscope perspective, it just looks like a little mass with a crown. Dr. Dunn says prevention is key. Making sure that you're using actual soap and water and you're washing your hands very thoroughly for at least 20 seconds, that's going to be a big key. If you don't have access to soap and water, you want to use a hand sanitizer that has at least 60% alcohol in it. That would be a good alternative. That's the hand hygiene piece. Cough hygiene, if you have to cough or you have to sneeze, you're going to sneeze into your elbow. If you sneeze into your hands, just make sure you're washing your hands, like we said, for the 20 seconds. And then food hygiene, because it's a zoonotic virus that can transfer from an animal, we want to make sure that any meats or eggs that we're preparing, we thoroughly cook them, we thoroughly clean the surfaces. So the most susceptible are going to be the elderly, the young, really young, like babies and small kids, and then the immunocompromised, so people who have conditions that impact their immune system, they're going to be the most impacted by this. The most important thing to know, too, is that right now we're in cold and flu season, so a lot of cold and flus can look like coronavirus. The symptoms to watch for the most, fever, we saw in 98% of the cases, cough, we saw in closer to 75%, and then a shortness of breath or difficulty breathing comes maybe seven to eight days after that. The World Health Organization reminds the public to avoid close contact with others when you're sick and to seek medical care early if you're experiencing the three major symptoms, fever, cough and shortness of breath. Sarita Patel, Casanet News, Kelowna.